Hi guys, this is Ryer from the library, and uh, in this video I'm going to show you some ways that once you have one or two good sources, I'm going to show you some ways to find other sources by um, linking and kind of exploring from that one source. So I'm going to do a topical search uh, based on some of your topics. I'm going to go very broad, just lowering the voting age. Um, so let's imagine you've done some research and maybe you select this one as a first source to start learning about it. This one's nice because it gives some reasons, uh, but it's not very substantial. So let's jump back maybe there's something good in this one. Um, we might not know this organization and certainly worth checking out what's up with this organization. Um, like I've said previously in some other lessons, uh, you know, you always want to know where that information's coming from. Um, and you don't just rely on what they say about themselves. So see what others say about them. But imagining that you do all that and it checks out, this looks fine. And so, okay, this is, I'm just gonna give a quick scroll here. It's somewhat in depth, but not super long. Perhaps for your assignment, you're looking for something a little more substantial well, one of the really nice things about this source is it has a bunch of hyperlinks to other sources. And in some cases, hopefully they're using really quality information um, that we can go back to that source and use it ourselves. Um, like this, this information around turnout rates, um, I think it could be really useful to dig further into these kind of things. So really follow the links or if you're working with an academic source these might be uh, formal citations. Now here I've got some other source. Okay, um, I probably want to find out again what's up with this organization promote your vote. I can read this for the content, but I can also read this trying to see if they use any evidence that gets me a little closer to really verified, high quality um, evidence. Oh, a detailed study. That could be really great. Let's follow that link. So here's an academic journal article. Um, I can tell by reading the journal title here and um, this publisher is known to me. I don't expect that it would be known to you, but um, we also see that there's this volume and issue number. It certainly sounds like an academic journal article. It's got the abstract and then it goes through um, you know, it's definitely not a popular magazine. It's not just a general web source. Um, and this could, in fact, be really highly useful for you. Additionally, as I was saying earlier, um, an academic article, it's not going to have hyperlinks, but it will have research that it sh shows in citations. You can actually use these to find more information. Um, the way you would do this in an academic journal is we see the names of the authors. Just as you're learning how to do this in your writing and in your presentations, we can find out why is this useful? Because we can come down here and then find those author names. And okay, I know the first one was Edward Phelps, or was Phelps. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, 
the whole citation, and then I'm going to do a Google search with that. And in some cases, you can get right to that one. And in other cases, uh, you won't. Uh, this might just be a preview. This might not be fully available. Let's check PDF. Okay, it wants to charge us for access, but that's okay. Um, we're not going to pay that. What we're going to do is take a closer look, see if it's uh, useful for us, and if it does look really good, then what we can do is go to the library's homepage and under Use the Library, we will fill out an interlibrary loan request. Fill this out, your name, email address, and then put the information about your source in there. We'll find it from another partner library and borrow it for you. Um, and that's no charge to you. The other thing you can do that's really cool is you might want to find other related information on this. Um, Google Scholar has a really interesting feature that will help you find the latest research. We can search for a title like this. Hopefully we'll find it. Okay, here we go. Notice this link here, view it at Centralia, will check and see if we have access through any of our databases. Um, we might have access to it. In fact, in this case, we do have access through uh, academic search complete. So um, we don't even need to do that interlibrary loan in this example because it's already available. The other thing I want to show you is, so we found this in Google Scholar. If um, this one was published in 2004, it's not super old, but there might be newer research on this kind of, on this topic. And the way we find that is to click Cited By. This will show all of the literature that's come out since 2004 that has cited um, this article up at the top. Notice that you can also check this box and search within it. And we can search for voter turnout. All of these articles are about voter turnout. Um, we can look for, let's just do young. Are they all about young people? It seems like most of them are. Um, so this is one way that we can find the latest research. And the reason Google's bringing these up is because they are citing this article. So you're kind of following the chain of citations and you're, um, you're, you're getting into that scholarly conversation. So hopefully that gives you some tips to go from the first starting sources that you get that might be kind of so-so, and then through following links, following citations, finding newer research, um, hopefully you can get to some really high quality sources that really help you answer your questions and address your topic. Okay, thanks. Have a good one.